as you know, if you watch, or have been watching my videos, I have never come on here to rant ever. Um, partly because I don't feel it's the place for it. Um, and you know, also because you guys subscribed because this is a beauty channel and I like to keep it well within the theme. So I very, very rarely talk about my opinions other than opinions on products. Um, however, I'm going to change that today because something has come to my attention that I think you guys need to know about and even if you do know, I still want to talk about it. The thing in question is the MAC, upcoming MAC collection for September of this year. Um, it's in collaboration with a fashion house called Rodater. Um and the collaboration is based on Rodater's full ready-to-wear fashion line. Their full ready-to-wear fashion line is based on the Maclidora workers of uh, Urez in Mexico. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty appalled, actually. I am pretty appalled. I really couldn't believe what I was reading this morning. Um, <laughs> Maclidora workers are factory workers. They are women. You know, they are not paid a fair wage. Most of them are paid about $6 a day. Um, even including graveyard shifts, even if they work all day. Um, they work in harmful conditions. A lot of them are ill because of their working conditions. Um, you know, they, they do not have proper housing to go home to, and this is all so that they can put food on the table for their children and for themselves. <laughs> and I find it shocking that a company... I'm not going to go into the fashion side of it. Red Atair, um, I find that shocking. But I'm not going to go into that because this is, I'm talking about beauty and the fashion industry has done many shocking things in its time. What I'm going to talk about is the fact that a huge corporation, a huge company like Mac, who are owned by Estee Lauder, would consider even to a small degree using the Mac Lidora workers of the res as a selling point for their cosmetics. I cannot get my head around that. Urez, you probably may not know, you probably may, I don't know. Urez is infamous for killings, brutalities, rapes, um, and and body, women, women's bodies turning up disfigured in the Urez um, neighbourhoods. Um, thousands of women have gone missing in Urez, most of them are Maclidora workers, most of them students, all of them female. Um, they've estimated, the townspeople have estimated that it's probably knocking on for about 5,000 women that have turned up dismembered, you know, just absolutely, it's just, it's unbelievable, really, just that statistic on its own. And they never find who does it, and, you know, the authorities are not interested in finding out who does it. So, the fact that MAC have decided it's perfectly acceptable to start a cosmetics line based on orders of all places and there for this upcoming Rodate collection there is actually a nail polish called Urez. The fact that they think that's acceptable astounds me. I'm astounded. I'm astounded that anybody would find it remotely acceptable to come up with a fashion line to begin with based on factory workers um, who are you know struggling, underpaid, um, not taken care of, you know, in their workplace, um, and, and, and then to compound it, you know, by naming, by getting a big brand like MAC to name cosmetics after such a place, and after such um, a, a brutal environment, is astonishing. I don't know what to say. I'm really stunned. Suffice to say, I will never be purchasing from MAC. You know me, you know I don't talk about MAC collections. I very rarely buy from them. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not into it. But I do have MAC cosmetics. I have bought from MAC in the past. Um, I will not be doing that now. And I know there will be people that still buy from this upcoming Rodate collection. I know there will be. Um, and you know I can't do anything about that. It is a shame. I can't do anything about those people that want to buy from this collection. But I don't know how you could possibly want to line the pockets of a company that quite clearly has no social conscience and also on the flip side of having no social conscience automatically assumes that it's consumers and people like yourselves and like myself who are buying their cosmetics also have no social conscience and don't care 
what is the inspiration behind a particular makeup line is really uh, I find very very offensive and you know what about all the people from Mexican um, heritage that buy MAC cosmetics they, they, you know, they quite clearly do not care about their consumer base at all and I find that very offensive um, yeah so the Rodotier collection <laughs> just uh, I don't even know what to say, I don't even know where to go, the fact that they would name nail polishes, Ures and um, a couple of the other names are Border Town, uh, Badlands, Sleepless, yeah, I don't know, I just don't know, I have no idea what to say. If you're interested in, in learning more about uh, Macleodoras, there is a documentary that was filmed, it's very very interesting, you can view some of it here on YouTube, um, I will try and find some of the videos and I'll put them around about here or otherwise I'll link them below so you can go and have a look. Um, at those. I will also link some of the articles that I've been reading down below so you can go and have a look and see how it all ties in um, for yourselves. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not telling you not to go and buy from MAC ever again. I'm not even telling you not to go and buy from this collection, but I really would consider it. I really would consider it um, for a company that quite clearly treats its consumer base you know, like, you know, our opinions don't matter and that we don't have any ethics is a bit astonishing to me and I really do not want to be associated with a company that would do that. Um, and the fact that this had to go through so many people as well before it was decided and not one person said, you know, I think that's in bad taste, I don't think that's really acceptable, blows me away. Uh, normal service will resume on my channel after this video, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.